Okay, so in this video, we're going to solve a problem that will involve an isosceles trapezoid. And so let's begin. So first, we have to go over the properties. So if you have an isosceles trapezoid, then line segment AD is equal to line segment BC. And also DC and AB are parallel. Likewise, the measure of angle D is congruent to the measure of angle C. Likewise, A is congruent with B. Additionally, the line segment DB is equal to the line segment AC. Angle D plus angle B will equal 180 degrees. Likewise, angle A plus angle C will equal 180 degrees. With that said, we're given this figure right here and they tell us it's an isosceles trapezoid. You wanna figure out the measure of angle X, Y, and Z. So we're just applying that definition. So if this right here is 35 degrees, Angle Y will be Y plus 35 is equal to 180. So let's write this down. So Y plus 35 is equal to 180. And if you want to solve for the measure of angle Y, just subtract 35 on both sides. And so we have Y is equal to, uh, we need to borrow the eight. So this will become seven. The zero becomes a 10. 10 minus five is five. Seven minus three is four and we get 145 degrees. And now for the easy part. So if this is 145 degrees, this right here is also 145 degrees. And if this is 35 degrees, this right here is also 35 degrees. You know, we're just applying this principle right here. So the measure angle D and C are congruent and A and B are congruent. And that's pretty much it for this problem. 